Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Lunchtime. I am Noah Hiles. He is... John Bozica. And we are hitting the road here on this episode. It's it's a lunchtime drive through edition on this fantastic Friday here in quarantine. We're getting out. John, what are we doing? How do you get out of this? You, you back up. I know, but you're... It's and then really you gotta steep. You, you just got to swing it to the left here. You just swing it back. You got all the. You got no cars behind you to your left. You I'm need good. to turn that way. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going that way. No, you can't go that way. You no, got. I can. It's not okay. That's a one way road. But anyway. I didn't realize that. Okay, so he's like gonna it. have to loop. We're off and running. <laughs> We're off and running. So yeah, see, John has to now have a big old turn where if he just <sighs> looped around this red car here, uh, we we would have been. I think I'm definitely gonna drop a couple curse words today. Oh jeez! Oh man, I thought we were gonna swipe a car. All right, we're running. Letter F is where we're at now. And Ooh. speaking of curse words, there's one that. There's a good one. Oh, there's a couple. For of ones. unlawful carnal knowledge. Darn right. Um, but we're on the letter F now. Uh, oh, I've got people texting me about their about money and stuff. About coronavirus. About coronavirus. All right, so letter F: person, place, thing. John, would you like to go first or shall I? I'll go first. Okay, who is your, there's a dog. Pupper. Oh, nice. All right, so who is your person for the letter F? So my person for the letter F is none other than the chairman of the board himself. Bum, bum, ba -da -da, bum, Frank bum, bum, Sinatra. Bum, bum, chairman of the board, old blue eyes. spread in the news. New York, New York. Come fly with me, let's, let's fly, fly, let's fly away. You can sing so many of his songs so easily, and they're all so memorable. So, uh, Chairman of the Board, Frank Snatcher. I think it's really hard to go against this, because when you look at the Rat Pack, he was the leader of the Rat Pack. He was. He was He was the, the Captain America. He was. Of that, you know, like, Captain America and Iron Man assembled the Avengers, Dean Martin... And Frank Sinatra, the the Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. They were like, hey, Sammy Davis, come, come on, on down. In. And, and everybody was just okay with it. But like, I just named like a couple of his songs, but like, you could go down the list. That's Life is a great song. It's Revitalized also, by the film The Joker. It is. It and is. That's Life. It's a uh, great song. Yes. It's all fantastic. And, uh, yeah, chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra. That's who I'm going with. Who do you have? Well, to build upon your argument, Frank Sinatra is, I mean... See, I can't he really hasn't made, a ton he, here because I'm driving. Okay, yeah, you're good. Uh, Frank Sinatra has made a lot of great music, and it's it's withstood the test of time. I mean, yes. when, when was the last time he really dropped anything new? Like, the 60s, 70s? He dropped some albums late in his career, like in the in the nineties. But his classics, his classics are still. Oh yeah. I mean, you can listen to them while you're eating. You know. I mean, they driving. play. They play New York, New York at the end of every Yankees game. Well, when they win. When they win, yeah. yes. Which Did you is know that McKinley does that too in boys basketball? Why? Because they're the winningest program in the state of Ohio. So they play New York, New York. At the end of their games, yeah, because it's a Yankees thing. Why wouldn't they play some trippy red? All right, so we move on to my pick now, and for my person... I don't like that you control this camera. Yeah, you know, I'd say... My pick is uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Mm. Uh, the Yes, he was... What number president was he? I gotta look that up. I just want to make sure I got... I think it said right there, 32nd president. 32nd president of the United States. And most importantly, he was one of the best presidents considered by many scholars. They put him up there with George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, he took over at a very important time in the history of our nation. Great Depression. He just said, nope, I got a new deal that's going to end that. Uh, first president to ever win four straight terms. He only served three full terms because he died shortly after winning his fourth election. Um, it's like polio. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, but he didn't. And, oh, oh, like, got it like he could beat it. But no, he sure had it and died from it. Fun fact, Jonas Salk, University of Pittsburgh, Damn, ended polio. Man. Dropping... Dropping that Pittsburgh down on dang, dang right. Speaking of uh, Pittsburgh, this is my shirt I'm wearing because of opening day. Uh, Dave Parker wore this. Um, when the pirates were slumping in the 1970s, it says, if you hear some noise, it's just me and the boys bopping. I highly recommend looking up that photo of Dave Parker wearing that. It's it's one of the most badass photos you will see in the baseball. The best thing I know about, about um, 
Pittsburgh Pirates history is Gene Alley with the... No, that's not Gene Alley. That's that's uh, Doc. Or not Doc. Oh, my God. Who What's had the green name? weenie thing? It's... Oh, my God. I'm drawing a blank. Who was that guy? I know. Just let, let me think. Go we got to keep going. FDR, FDR, FDR. FDR. So, FDR won a whole bunch of presidential elections, ended the Great Depression, helped America through World War II. Truman pushed us over the edge, but just a great overall president, helped the American people, and um, got them very far. It got, got our country very far and helped us get to where we are today. I think that's a good pick. I mean, do you want to argue these today? No, I think we're good. You think we're good? Yeah. Good. You can go say, oh, a dog over there. Uh, there's no dog. We're not going to put it on camera, no, though. We can't really do that. Can okay, we? so... For my place, I'm going with the state of Florida. Uh, for all good and bad that comes with it, Florida is hands down one of the most unique places in our country. Um, it's very rare that in the same mile you will find a crackhead who will eat someone's face on bath salts and a grandmother who will donate her entire net worth to a church. And, and you'll find that in Florida. You'll find that in Florida. My favorite part about Florida, well, there's a lot. Of course, there's the beaches, there's Disney, there's a whole bunch of great stuff. But when you, have you ever driven into Florida? No. No? So when you drive in, when you cross the Florida-Georgia line, um, at the Florida Welcome Center, they have fresh squeezed orange juice. Does Florida-Georgia line play as you? No, it does not. But, oh, look at the dogs looking at me. I really want to film them, but I can't. I can't. Oh, he's barking! Almost. He's barking! He said something! Oh, man! Oh, they're moving up. Anyway. <laughs> He's like, yo, I want to be a part I'm of the I'm trying to do this, that way we don't look like we're filming him. He's like, yo, I want to be a part of the podcast. Bob Prince was the broadcaster, by the way. The Gunner was his name. The Gunner? With the, with the, the weenie. The green weenie. The green, the rally Gene Alley was the alley-oop. He had the alley-oop. Maybe, I don't know. But Bob Prince, the Gunner, I don't know why that took so long for me to think of. I have his book. One of the best broadcasters of all time. We're off the rails here anyway. But Florida, it's got Disney. It's got beaches. It's got crazy people. It's got pretty much everyone's grandparents. But it's also got a rest stop once you get in there. It's got fresh squeezed orange juice and grapefruit juice. You can choose between one or the other. And Give it's a options. kid who grew up with grandparents in Daytona, who lived in Daytona. Um, we would drive down there. And I would look forward to, once we got to Florida, because A, it's like the trip's almost over, and B, it's like, sweet, we get this orange juice. That was like a token of like, we made it. We made that it through okay. this journey. Yes. So Florida is my pick. Um, not great. Not a great place right now. They have not been the best when it comes to this whole coronavirus thing. But, you know. John has to do with the Tiger King, though. <sighs> buddy. We'll have a full episode of Tiger King. Full episode. This Probably dog Monday. is still barking. He is just all about this. He's dog. a boxer. I again, we're not filming him, but he's a boxer and he's just got his head out the door. How many McDonald's are we going to? We we there's like so many closer ones that we could have gone this to. This is the one that I know that's over here. Okay, well there we could have gone to many more. F. Where was the closer one? Fine. It's okay. France. France! <laughs> Home of Cali. Merci. Lots of uh, cheese and wine and, and great things from France that uh, make it a lovely countryside, I'm told. But um, Paris alone, I mean, like, when you really think about it, like, it has one of the, one of, like, the quintessential landmarks of the world, I would say, in the Eiffel Tower. Correct. I mean, when you think about it, it's like, it's a place that I think everybody wants to visit. I know I do. Mm -hmm. My brother has been there. I'm very envious of him for having gone there. Um <laughs> But it's definitely something I want to go to. They also have the Louvre. Uh, they have, um, you know, many great things there. And as I said, wine and cheese. Croissants. Croissant. Cro. Here's the thing. If we're going to argue these, my place versus your place. I mean, your place is known for surrendering. <laughs> my place is known for naked people on drugs attacking others. So I'll take in a war, Florida versus France. John, who do you got? In a war? Yeah. I mean, just because, like, the entire, like, army of Florida would probably be on crack, like... <laughs> I mean, well, like... I mean, not, li listen, we're giving Florida a bad rap. There's a lot of good people in Florida. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good people. There is, Florida. there are, there are. And uh, there's just, you know, like, as someone who used to be a news producer 
uh, for like news talk radio. Um, there'd be slow days where, oh lordy, this is a busy drive through. That's okay. We got time. There'd be slow days where our, oh, our show hosts would come to me and say like, find something funny. And I would just Google Florida man. And then I'd go to the news tab in Google where it, I typed in Florida man and you can find pretty much any news story that you really want in like the last six days out of Florida. It's a wild place. Just featuring Florida man. Florida man. You just Google Florida man and it gets off the rails. John, what is your thing? My thing is something that I'm actually going to get here in a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. French fries. They're not really French in terms of... Did, were they invented in France or do we just... It's not my thing. Frites is what they call them in, in France, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, but French fries. I mean, when you really think about things that go with things, French fries... Top notch, everything. I mean, it goes with you can have French fries with a burger, you can have it with a hot dog, you can have it with steak, you can have it with breakfast if you wanted to. You ever done that? No. Where you make some French fries with your breakfast? It's amazing. Plus, it's on a sandwich too in Pittsburgh. You can't. No argument out of this. You guy. can't. You can't not like that. It's also on the Pittsburgh salad. Don't they put it on? Oh, they put it, fries on everything in Pittsburgh. That's a very known thing. I have to open. My oh mouth. my. I have to open my thing to... All the car dealerships who sponsor WHBC. Look at this man. Look at this man. Help this man. What's John want? Yeah, can I just get a uh, large fry and a medium Coke? All right, got him going around. Thank you. Oh, well, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hey, well, I just want to introduce myself. I will also be ordering separate, and I'm looking forward to doing it right now. So, what I would like is for a number one, not that I have an ego problem, I just really like Big Macs, and can I get that without cheese? I do have a cheese problem. Just a number one with no cheese, please. Okay, number one with no cheese? Yep. And what to drink? Mmm, what do I want to drink? Sprite? Question mark? Okay, anything else? No, that sounds lovely. That'll be right, it. Guys. I can't wait to meet you. Bye. Do you do this to everybody at drive -thrus? Oh, yes. Sometimes I announce it like the 90s Bulls starting lineup. I'll play. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good content. You're telling me about that. Yes. So, John, French fries. Any more to add? I mean, just they're very, like, they're not what I would call versatile. They're just, like, they're really good with things. I mean, like, have you ever... Have you ever said no? Like when you go out with people, like have you ever been like, no, I don't want a basket of French fries. Yeah, the table. you know, I I had that problem, um, but as I'm you know on camera more, I'm I'm starting to, you know, try to look a little better. So I'm trying to cut back on the fries. That was a big thing that I've tried to cut out. But I will say, I I stack I measure my bar food by how well they have their fresh cut fries. Oh, I would agree with Like, that. if you're eating at a local pub or a brewery or something, uh, if you got you got to bring that heat with those fresh cut fries. They have to be the best thing on So, the I went to College and Alliance, Mount Union, uh, and Chives, every Saturday morning, Chives was the local bar there. Um, they did a thing called Dollar Burgers. Every Saturday morning, they had just dollar hamburgers. They were wonderful. And... The whole campus would be there, but they had these fresh cut fries. You throw some oil and salt on them. Delicious. Delicious. What are your favorite fries? Favorite fry spot? Um, because I'm an Akron guy, Swenson's, those fries, they just, they slap a little different. Just didn't want to film someone in the background. I know. Well, we really can't do that with No, them. we're just going to film me. Really can't do that here, right? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Is it the fries and the Big Mac meal? Yeah. Okay. And the Sprite? Yep. Yep. With everything. Oh, John's paying for me. My goodness. How are you today? Good. Good. Ready to go home. Yeah. Make sure. Oh my gosh. Make sure you wash your hands. Sleep. Get get rest. You just you just told that lady to walk. Well, for like social distancing purposes. <laughs> like you made it. Sleep. <laughs> like John's hidden. Oh, not a big deal. John covered the state championships. I did. Oh. So did you, buddy boy. Yeah. Uh, now we're getting our food. So, John, your favorite fries? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. 
think you get a large. I didn't ask for a large, but it's okay. Guys, you're all set. Oh my Thanks. goodness, thank you're you. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> Buddy! You know what's great? You know what some great fries are? Bag fries from McDonald's. Oh, I love bag fries. I know, I love me a good bag fry. <laughs> It All sounds right. like a musical instrument. What are you mastering? I'm, back. I'm playing the bag fry. I play the bag fry. All right, so my thing is um, John's going to crush me in this because pretty much everyone loves French fries. But right. uh, for my thing, I'm going with Facebook. It's my least favorite social media platform, but I would argue it is the most important because it started all. It, it Facebook changed the world for better or for worse, probably for worse. But Facebook changed the world. I gotta do this real quick again. Gotta open my door to close my window too. And we're moving. Look at this. Help this man. John, close the door. Okay. It won't close. It won't, <laughs> it won't go up. All right, anyway. Facebook changed the world for better or for worse. It brought social media into the mainstream, into the norm. Everyone's on Facebook. Everyone's mom, their grandma, their grandfather, their cousin, their nephew, their neighbor. Thing. They all have a Facebook profile. Uh, it's kind of turned into uh, the wild, wild west of opinions. It's given everyone a platform, which necessarily isn't the Officer. best, but at the same time, uh, I don't know why I secluded there, but. <laughs> Mr. Opsipur. Great fish. He's got great fish. Um, oh, it's Friday. Happy Lent. Uh, but Lent anyway. First friend. How, but anyway. Facebook, it also is very useful. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you saw this post on Facebook. It's really help, it really helps our company um, get content out there and get information out there, especially during this time uh, with the coronavirus. I know that all of my news updates uh, all of my articles and everything, they're getting a ton of engagement on Facebook and it makes my work feel a little bit more validated that uh, we're reaching a bigger audience through social media as opposed to just turning on the radio, which we encourage you all to do, but for those that can't or you know, maybe don't have a radio in their car or don't have a radio around their house and would rather just read something, you can find our information on Facebook and that's what's great about it. it, it it allows people to access more information, good and bad, but we're going to focus on the positives. Right now, we try to. Yes. Um, normally, we wouldn't, but right yeah. now, uh, we're definitely trying to do that. Yeah. Less less negatives right now, that's for sure. Look at just beautiful downtown Canton, North Canton right now. <laughs> Ooh wee. The beautiful, the we're beautiful passing, countries. <laughs> we're passing the North Canton Y, and I've never seen... It's wild seeing the North Canton Y parking lot empty. I've never in my life seen the YMCA here in North Canton. It's the one... Yeah, North I live Canton. in North Canton. Not a big deal. The one huge landmark of North Canton. The Hoover. Yes. Smokestack. Mm-hmm. It's where the vacuums... What kind of vacuum do you have? What kind of vacuum do I have? Not a Hoover vacuum. I, no? I, yeah. We have a really good vacuum. My roommate, like, brags about it to people who come to our house. It's very awkward. I'm sure our vacuum is broken right now. <laughs> oh, my God, John. What do you have that works, sir? Uh, <laughs> my voice. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's all we got. Um, soon, soon. We don't know what day. Whenever John finishes it, we'll have a full episode reviewing The Tiger King. I am through like half of episode four. I, I okay. had to, You're really at the halfway point then because it's seven episodes. I had to break myself just a little bit because like these people, if you haven't seen it, which most of you probably have. <laughs> you it's have the like, number one show on Netflix right now. If you haven't seen it, we ask you to just watch the first two episodes so you will know what we're talking about. The first two episodes. Best like, episodes in television history. Like bar none, maybe the best TV like I've ever watched in my life. Like... The things that happen the in this are, like, you don't think that they're possible. And as Noah put it, like, just when you think it's hit, like... Like, he tweeted out after episode one, like, this show is insane. I was like, John, you haven't seen anything yet, buddy. Just when you think it's heat, hit peak level of weird, it, like, as you said, it reaches a new level. Just like our show. Be sure to let us know who won today's debate. Comment below share this and uh hopefully we put some smiles on some faces during some serious times we'll see you on monday here on lunchtime